if you are a student who has written a paper and are wondering, how do I know if my paper is good? Are there any errors? And if so, how do I correct them? Do I have plagiarism issues? What might, what grade might I get on this paper? If you are wondering these things, you should go to paperrater.com. It's a wonderful site that will help you with all of your grammar, spelling, punctuation issues. It will also look for plagiarism issues. So you're going to want to copy your paper. I'm only going to copy two paragraphs for this purpose. Then go to paperrater.com and when you get there, click on Use Now Free. You have to give your paper a title. This particular paper is titled Germany. And paste your text from the paper into the block. You can put your work cited in there if you want to. For this particular purpose, I'm not going to. You need to select the education level of the student, the type of paper, and here's where you can check for plagiarism. It says originality de detection optional. If you want to skip that, it will check your paper faster. However, if you include it, even though it's a little slower, it will check for plagiarism issues. And then you need to type in the code. This is to let them know it's not some computer generated robo dialer that's getting onto their site and then click that you've agreed to the terms of use and get the report. And the longer the, your paper is, the longer it might take to check. Since I'm just using two paragraphs, it didn't take very long. So you can see areas of red, green, and blue. If you look over to the right, there's a key over here, and it tells you red is spelling, green is grammar, and blue is word choice. It goes beyond that. You can click on the highlighted area. And it says, did you mean believes? And if that's what you meant, you can change it here, but you might want to change it in your paper instead. And that's why I have two screens open at the same time. So then you read it. I discovered that the Celts believe, believes to have been well, we're talking past tense, so probably we meant believed. So you can see that it's not always 100%, so you can't completely rely on this. However, it is pretty good. It did pick up that that was a problem. So then we have a spelling error here in the red. If you click on it, did you mean inhabitants? Okay, yes, that's what I meant. So then you can go over and change the word to inhabitants. Now you can change all of them in Paper Raider, but then what you'll have to do again is copy and paste that back into your original paper, but you need to keep in mind that that will probably change your formatting. And if you have your paper formatted the correct way that your teacher is expecting, then it's probably a better idea to come over to your paper and make the changes in your paper. So you can see that it is pointed out, did you mean area it, so there's a punctuation error. It, the student left out a comma. The Middle Ages, they left out the the. And Otto the Great should be capitalized. So that will help. Oh, here's and a spelling error. So you can find all of those with Paper Raider. But then if you come over here, plagiarism detection. If you click on that, originality 100%, no sign of plagiarism. So what that means is this student did put all of this into their own words, and still you can see that they did cite their resources. So this is what everyone wants to see. That's wonderful. And the next thing you can do, there are different things that you can check on, and it will give you some style suggestions, vocabulary words that you may want to choose. And here's where you can find the grade. In this particular case, um, because of the errors and 
let's face it, it was just two paragraphs out of the middle of a, of a paper, so that's not really accurate. The grade would be higher, but if you use Paper Raider, you can correct your errors before you turn it into your teacher so that you can get a much better grade. So hopefully this has been helpful to you and hopefully by using this you will be able to get a very good grade on your paper. Good luck!